hello everyone you're welcome to my channel once again the name is yao musical as you all know i'm a mixing and mastering engineer so um if you are first um this is your first time on my channel please consider subscribing please consider subscribing and like comment share this video and you can as well save the video for future reference you can save the video so the next time you can watch it so i do mixing and mastering for beginners as you all know today i'm going to be doing something about noise noise reduction noise reduction it is a very big problem noise reduction noise is a very big problem mostly in music recordings music recordings so um if you're having problem when you record there's too much noise you're a beginner you don't know what to do man or lady this video is for you this video is for you so today i'm going to be showing you three steps three techniques that i use three techniques effective techniques that i use when i'm mixing and mastering so the first one will be me using um x noise to clear the, the the noise the second one will be me using the process bar i'm going to the noise gate selecting and using the noise to you know uh, remove the noise whatever <laughs> the noise gate to remove the noise yeah <laughs> and the second one will be me silencing the backgrounds see this these are all noise damn man these are all noise so the third one will be me silencing the backgrounds simple so let's get into the video okay so as i said um you see when you record after recording your song um there will be a lot of noise this is noise charlie this is all noise um so you can listen to it Cry, I say, we'll of, course. Yeah, of course, yeah, the noise is there, but you wouldn't even hear it because one, I have my noise um gate on it already, yes. So, I, I, I will take it off, I will take it off. It's, it's, it's already here. Let me, let me leave it. So, first of all, first of all, let's start from the third one, and the third one, which is um silencing the background silencing the background is very easy so after recording your song like this after after you have your recordings done you see i've done um the same thing here and you see that the voice are very very clean you know it's very very clean so you can do the same thing to all your vocals all your vocals so so let's say this is your recording let's say this is your recording and there is noise you want to clear it what you are going to do is to double click on the the wave the wave that is there this is the wave so this is the wave this is the recording double click on it double click it opens this way what you're going to do is to you know zoom in a little bit a little bit by using the G and the H on your keyboard zoom in and out a little bit so you start from the select you're just going to you know highlight it select it like this very simple make sure you don't you know touch the wave here the recording just select it where the black um, the black the dark line is so after selecting it you go to where it's written select process select process click on it come down to silence click on it boom there you have it it's silenced so you, you do the same thing to all you know where you think the noises are make sure you don't you know touch this so come down to 
um, select process click on silence it's it's a very very easy 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 thing but it's very tedious man Charlie we know what bread I'm telling you we will now sign in a yo yeah yo so I was saying that uh, after after doing everything you'll be very very tired your hand will be you know tired man this is a very very tedious work seriously so you do the, as I'm doing you do the same thing to you know all the the dark noises and most of the times the the breath this is the breath this is the breath single life movement so as you heard it it's breath so you do the same thing to it you can either um um reduce the um the volume of the breath so it's reduced or if you want you can you know completely silence it so you do the same thing to all the vocals so let's do it yo so there you have it you see it's very very clean it's very clean so as you can see that is it cry i say of course that is the third part so let's go back to um the second steps in which you can use to you know clean your vocals Yo, so the second steps, what you are going to do is same. Double click on this. That is the recording. Double click on it. It comes this way. So you have the same noise, you know, blah, blah, blah. It's very annoying. Noise is very annoying. I'm telling you. You just have to, you know, select it. After selecting the first, the first, um, the first raw noise without adding the real recording just select it this way first um let it end so just let it end then you come to process again come to process then you go to noise gates click on noise gates um you can choose to reduce it or higher it if you hire it too much i'm telling you, you're going to destroy your vocals if you hire it too much i'm telling you the threshold is going to destroy your vocals for you please so don't do that so um this one negative 19 15 ms 100 ms 30 ms that is the release the mini bring the attack time so just go to process boom there you have it so easy after that you select the whole thing again select the whole thing go back to process go back to noise gates then process again boom there you have it so as i said if you do it too much you're going to destroy your vocals that is the same thing that happens here as you can see you see so after selecting um, the whole thing you make sure you go to the noise gate he said they set a threshold to 35 5ms 100ms and 30ms and set them um, just click on process it's going to process everything you see that it's very clean it's clean so that is the second step let's move to the third the first step sorry so the first the first step 
is by using x noise x noise or and the denoiser plugin a denoiser plugin so if you don't have waves plugin don't worry you you, you, you can use um um the stock plugin which is denoiser from waves waves cubase 5 sorry you can use the denoiser from cubase 5 so you just go to um, stain back go to restoration go to denoiser um yes you can just so um what i be, what i normally do at times is i um, use this preset medium and you set a threshold to 7 odb then this one to 6.5 odb then the reduction to um maybe 17.5 odb then you are good to go it, it is going to you know clear all the noise um not all but it's going to you know it, it's going to be good you're going to you like it i promise you so um um it, it will be better for you to have wave plugins because they are very very effective but don't worry if you don't have it you can use the stock plugin as i said so if you have waves plugins you can um search for um x noise stereo from restoration from waves just click on x noise stereo then um um, um that is it you can see you, you just have to see it only two buttons just um set the threshold to negative 5.5 then the reduction set it to maybe 20 21 or 20 don't set it don't you know raise it too much you're going to destroy your vocals please so just set it to 20 or 21 if you don't depending on the, the the noise that you have depending on the noise that you have or the noise that you want to reduce that is what i'm talking about so for me basically i set it to 20 21 you know there about so that is it there you have it it's going to clear your vocals for you when Oh boy, of course, Obian Jimindi, fresh boy like me, Mina Bindi, single life movement, Takata Mini, Timi Huo Baby, Kra, Name Yimini, Ajay, Adi, Oh boy, of course, Obian Jimindi, fresh boy like me, Mina Bindi, single life, single life, single life. Yo, 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 so there you have it. See, the noise are very little, or they are gone. So, thank you for watching my video. The name is Your Musical. Please, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider just click on the subscribe button it doesn't take 10 pesos or 10 euros or 10 dollar or whatever from your um account please just click on the red button and click on the the not notification button so that whenever i post any video for beginners you're going to be notified thank you once again bye see you next time